Hi, my name is Brian Tanis. I'm a developer advocate at Red Hat. I focus on OpenShift. Today, I'm going to do a quick run through of some of the new features that are part of the OpenShift 4.6 release. One of the first things you'll notice when logging into OpenShift as a non-privileged user for the first time is the developer console shows up by default. We also have the inclusion of guided tours. Guided tours will walk you through step-by-step -step sections of how to use the OpenShift web console effectively. Quick starts will walk you through how to do something in OpenShift. For example, we have setting up serverless, which is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install serverless on OpenShift. The user experience in the topology view for OpenShift 4.6 continues to improve. One of the additions is the ability to sort in either a consumption view or a connectivity view. Connectivity view is what we've been used to, but the consumption view, best viewed in list view in my opinion, allows you to see um, consumption of services within a given namespace or project. The ability to add things in the navigation of the developer console by searching for an object within the developer console and then adding that to the navigation has been around since the last release of OpenShift. When using the administrator view, we've added the ability to change the columns that are in a list. It does remember which columns you had uh, saved previously, at least for a given session. We also now see the number of objects whenever we try to filter something within the administrator list view. Those deploying Helm charts on OpenShift will definitely notice the quick and easy forms-based approach, making it easier to deploy those charts. Oh yeah, and don't forget that you still could see logs of the Helm chart being built, as well as logs of pods that are running within OpenShift. We now have a way to personalize your application in the topology view by setting an icon. That's pretty cool. One of my new favorite features in the OpenShift web console is the ability to quickly add a horizontal pod autoscaler. This allows my application to autoscale and I don't have to configure too much. It's a simple, easy forms-based approach. You can see autoscale working by seeing that my application has autoscaled to two, the minimum that I set. If I go in and artificially add some traffic, you could see that the application will scale up to five eventually. My machine was able to artificially load about 800 requests per second, and we could verify that in the new monitoring view in the OpenShift dashboard. Here we could see CPU, memory, as well as bandwidth metrics for a given application. We also see these metrics in the slide out view. The monitoring view is pretty powerful because we have the ability to query it using PromSQL. We also could set up some alerts. Platform services continue to improve in OpenShift 4.6. OpenShift pipelines, for example, has the ability to see a pipeline run status within the topology view on the developer console, see the logs of what's happening for each step in the pipeline run, as well as seeing the ability to see that status in a little more detail in the slide out of a given application within the topology view. 4.6 is a milestone for OpenShift serverless in that serverless eventing is now generally available. Eventing allows applications to be connected to event sources to receive cloud events. It's easy to deploy an application using serverless. We just have to go into the developer console and add an application. We choose a Knative service as the deployment type to deploy that application as serverless. We then can drag the arrow out and create an event source. The event source list can be populated with other items from operators that are installed on OpenShift. We could notify our application in time increments using a ping source. We set this up using a cron tab type formatting, and we could choose whichever message we want to send to that application at a given interval. The usability of OpenShift service mesh is also improved in the 4.6 release. We have easy access to Kiali in the topology view using the link in the upper right hand corner. We also could see if our project is enrolled in the service mesh just by accessing the projects tab and clicking on our particular project. 
Thank you for watching this quick run through of new features in OpenShift 4.6. If you want to learn more about OpenShift, check out learn.openshift.com to access an OpenShift in your browser for free. If you want to learn more about the OpenShift 4.6 release, check out developers.redhat.com as well as openshift.com.